I'm Dr. JVK Chetnya Rao, your sinus doctor. I'm sure by now all my channel subscribers know what a sinus is and what is sinusitis. But for the benefit of any new audience watching my channel, let me tell you what a sinus is and what is sinusitis in very brief. Sinuses are nothing but air pockets present around our nose and eyes in the face. There are five pairs of sinuses. There are sinuses present above the eyes, between the eyes, below the eyes and these sinuses present between the eyes extend all the way from the front of the nose up to the back of our throat. Sinusitis is nothing but inflammation of the skin or the mucosal lining of the nose and sinuses and this leads to pus formation in the sinuses. Patients having sinusitis experience nose block, nose congestion, heaviness in the head, heaviness in the face, post nasal discharge and many such symptoms. If you're interested to know more about this sinus and sinusitis, I will provide the link in the box above or in the description below and you can watch these videos of mine. But did you all know what you eat, what you drink can dictate how good or bad your sinusitis is? Let me give you some tips about what you can drink or eat to reduce the effect of the bothersome sinusitis symptoms. First, let me talk about foods that worsen your sinusitis symptoms. These are refined sugars, processed foods and certain fats. Refined sugars in the sense it can be as simple as the table sugar which we use in our tea and coffees. It can be in the colas that is the soft drinks we regularly consume, the energy drinks we consume and also we as Indians have our sweet favorites like jalebi, like gulab jamun, all these things have refined sugars which can worsen the inflammation. Processed foods, whatever snacks we find packed in the packets like chips, like namkeen, uh, instant noodles, all these things on consumption trigger a lot of inflammation in your body. Similarly, certain fats, especially vanaspati, that is dalda, uh, which gives a lot of taste to our foods, should also be avoid it because these trigger a lot of inflammation. These are high in trans fats and not good to consume. Even milk products rich in fats like butter and cream also should be kept to minimum in our diet. There are certain foods which can thicken the mucus which is forming in our nose and sinuses. For example, coffee and alcohol. Consumption of both these products thickens the mucus because it causes a lot of dehydration in our body. So keeping the consumption to minimum is advised. Similarly, for some individuals, milk consumption, milk and milk products consumption increases the mucus production in the body. For those individuals, it is advisable to keep away from milk consumption. My advice to you is that you please maintain a diary. Whenever you have sinusitis symptoms or whenever you have bad cold, try to jog down your memory, identify what is that food or drink you have consumed which could have probably led to these symptoms and try to avoid consumption of these products. Now let's talk about foods that can improve your sinusitis symptoms. Having a balanced diet is very important for your body and for your sinuses. 50% of the plate whatever you eat in should have fruits and vegetables. 25% of your plate can have proteins like beans, legumes, egg, chicken, fish and the rest of the 25% of the plate should have whole grains like quinoa, brown rice or millets. This is a balanced way of consuming food. Consume foods rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants can fight the inflammation in our body. You can consume foods like walnuts, flax seeds, fish, green leafy vegetables. All kinds of berries almost are very rich in antioxidants and can help you fight the inflammation. Small to moderate amounts of spice, turmeric, ginger, garlic, which are part and parcel of a South Indian diet can also help us fight the inflammation and keep our sinuses healthy. Consume foods rich in probiotics like yogurt, kefir, kimchi. These products change our gut microbiome and a good gut microbiome leads to good immunity and helps us fight nose and sinus infections better. Exercising regularly can also have a tremendous effect on your nose and sinus health. Exercising improves the blood circulation in your nose and sinuses and helps decongest your nose. Every person's body is different. What works well for one person may not work for another. So pay attention to how your body responds to certain foods and manage your diet accordingly. If you have sinusitis issues, get yourself examined by an ENT surgeon and he will provide the best advice for you. Hope you understood what foods you can eat to fight the sinus infections and what foods worsen the sinus infections. If you wish to know more about nose and sinuses and how to maintain your nose and sinus health, visit my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon.